हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अफेयर्स क्लाउड माय नेम इज विकास सो फ्रेंड्स वी हैव एन एप्लीकेशन बाय द नेम कैरियर्स क्लाउड विच यू कैन गो एंड डाउनलोड थ्रू द प्ले स्टोर एंड वंस यू हैव डाउनलोडेड यू कैन लॉग इन विद योर जीमेल आईडी एंड व्हाई आई एम सजेस्टिंग यू दिस एप्लीकेशन बिकॉज दिस इज द वन स्टॉप सोल्यूशन फॉर ऑल द करंट अफेयर दिस इज द बेस्ट ऑफ द बेस्ट एप्लीकेशन एंड द प्लेटफॉर्म वेर यू कैन एनहेंस योर लर्निंग थ्रू हेल्प here you will be provided with multiple courses here you will be provided with multiple options of quizzes and even you here you will be provided current affairs on daily basis pdfs and quizzes will be provided to you on daily basis both in hindi as well as english here you will be provided current affairs with weekly basis and monthly basis also here remember once you have done watching our video then you can log in through this application take out the pdf read that pdf and go through the quizzes that will enhance your preparation same you have to do for weekly and same you have to do for the monthly also in monthly you will be provided with the top 100 important questions pdf and video also that will enhance your learning and it will be a very benefit and beneficial and important video for the revision perspective and not just this friends apart from this we also provide you banking and economic questions we provide you state current affairs such as of uttarakhand up tripura telangana and many more not just this apart from this we also provide you topic wise current affairs and the topics that we are providing you are really important these topics are such as national affairs international affairs important days sports defense science and technology apps and web portals obviously these are the important topics that are being asked in various exams across india so these are the topics that are must and should be covered and will be beneficial for the preparation of the students hello everyone so in this video we will be discussing important current affairs of 17th of november session will be quite interesting so do pay attention till the end let's start first is janjatiya gaurav divas it is observed in which state so remember recently our prime minister narendra modi was on a two day visit to which state he was on a two day visit to jharkhand correct and he participated in an event that was organized to mark janjatiya gaurav divas that was held in jharkhand correct also remember he also greeted the people of jharkhand on the foundation day of jharkhand right and when is the foundation day of jharkhand 15th of november observed as foundation day of jharkhand right and so remember on 50 two to three things important janjatiya gaurav divas in jharkhand and 15th of november observed as your foundation day of jharkhand also pm narendra modi here laid the foundation stone for the development projects worth 7200 crore rupees right and this amount will be utilized in various sector that can be rail sector road sector then education healthcare coal petroleum natural gas right and this amount will be used to enhance the infrastructure and services in jharkhand if we look at this only remember first of all remember he was on a visit from in jharkhand from 15 to 16th of november he, it was a two day visit and he participated in an event to organize or to mark janjatiya gaurav divas in jharkhand and this was on the foundation day of jharkhand only that was on 15th of november the next thing remember he laid the foundation stone worth 7200 crore rupees that can be in education coal petroleum natural gas rail sector road sector etc and then he also launched two significant initiative that were named viksit bharat sankalp yatra and pm janjati adivasi nyay maha abhiyan right and they were both launched from jharkhand then third thing remember during the third janjati gaurav divas pm modi digitally released the 15th installment of the प्रधान मंत्री किसान सम्मान निधि स्कीम एट बिरसा कॉलेज इन खुंती झारखंड राइट सो दीज आर थ्री टू फोर थिंग्स दैट यू नीड टू रिमेंबर फ्रॉम दिस पर्टिकुलर न्यूज दैट इज बेनिफिशियल फॉर योर प्रिपरेशन देन इफ यू टॉक अबाउट झारखंड हु इज द चीफ मिनिस्टर हेमंत सोरेन गवर्नर सी पी राधाकृष्णन के वॉट इज द कैपिटल ऑफ झारखंड इट इज रांची देन नेक्स्ट थिंग विच कंपनी बिकेम इंडियाज लार्जेस्ट रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी कंपनी India's largest renewable energy company it is Adani Green it is Adani Green and they have crossed the mark of 8.4 gigawatt by becoming the India's largest renewable energy company then dash port became the India's first port to handle 16.1 million tons of cargo name the port the port is Mundra port 
right it be, port became the first port to handle 16.1 million tons of cargo correct then bharat ata bharat ata this is an initiative for affordable wheat flour correct then kalinga literary festival where was this held kalinga literary festival where was this observed this was observed in bhuvneshwar and remember which edition of this festival was observed recently it was the 10th edition of the kalinga literacy festival observed in bhuvneshwar moving on next news where was the first australian indian education and skill council meet co-chaired so remember recently the first australia india education and skill council meet it was co-chaired at iit gujarat right where was it co-chaired it was co-chaired at iit gujarat correct our education minister dharmendra pradhan right he is our ministry of education uh, he is our union minister of education and union minister of skill development and entrepreneurship he co-chaired this first australia india education and skill development council that is aie sc right this was with australian minister jason clark who is the education minister and brendan o'connor who is the skill and training minister of australia then this meeting was held at an iit gandhinagar gujarat that was on 6th of november 2023 during this meeting if we we'll look at here during this meeting the first during this first isc meeting five mous were exchanged between india and australian higher education institutes to facilitate greater research collaboration and our union education minister dharmendra pradhan and australian education minister jason clark announced the opening of two australian university campuses of wollongong and deakin university in the gift city we know that deakin university was the first foreign university to set up their campus in india and now wollongong university also will be coming to the gift city that is in gandhinagar gujarat if we talk about australia who is the prime minister of australia anthony albanese what is the capital of australia it is canberra and what is the currency we use here it is australian dollar right so dharmendra pradhan and who was the counterpart from australia jason clark here right then next thing if i ask you tell me recently world animal health a conference on world animal health which edition of this conference was it it was the 33rd edition of this conference where was it held it was hosted by new delhi then which state became the first state to adopt uniform uniform civil code so the first state to adopt this uniform civil code is uttarakhand it is uttarakhand right then tell me which state or which city set a guinness record by lighting 22 lakh diyas on the occasion of diwali so this new world record was done by the city of ayodhya right that is in uttar pradesh moving on next in this x this is an initiative between india and which country so in this x this is an initiative as the name suggest in this what does it means for in this is your india us defense acceleration ecosystem i repeat india defense or india us defense acceleration ecosystem that is in this correct now the question asked is this is between which india and which country as the name suggests india and usa so right option is 2 and this is the first ever edition of this in this x investors meet right this first meet was held on 8th of november where was this held location becomes important this was held in new delhi india this meet was organized correct of the 5th annual india us 2 plus 2 ministerial dialogue and this in the sex educational series gurukul was also launched during this event right educational series gurukul was launched during this particular first investors meet of in the x and here if we talk about it here you can see innovation for defense excellence that is idx that comes into the ministry of department of defense production of ministry of defense of the government of india and us department of defense the government of usa organized so we can say india idex and ddpi 
United States Department of Defense, they have organized the first India-US Defense Acceleration Ecosystem Investors Meet. It was on 8th of November. And if we look at some of the background here, that India-US Defense Acceleration Ecosystem was inaugurated during the state visit of PM Narendra Modi to USA. This initiative aims to fortify the strategic technology partnership and defense industrial cooperation between the two nations. That means we can exchange technology, we can set up industry in each other countries and basically in India and also to exchange various goods here. Then in this X will be a defense innovation bridge that will inter include joint challenges, joint innovation fund, investment by private entities in defense projects, defense technology projects, etc. Also, this will help to India in their Make in India initiative because they will be getting funding from US and all these projects, all the industrialization will can be done in India and to provide job for the people. Correct. So this in the sex is an initiative between India and US. Then during this, a Grukul initiative was launched. Now, if we talk about this Grukul initiative, the in the sex educational series that is Grukul the aim as the name suggests, the aim of this help uh, is to help the investors and startup navigate the defense ecosystem of the US and India. This Grukul education series will have the sessions for startups, innovators by experts from both the sites that will include government officials, corporate leaders, industry forums, incubators, etc. Uh, right. So coming back, this Grukul initiative was of Indus X, right? Is it, it is an educational series that will be helping or the aim of which is to help the innovators and startups to navigate in the defense ecosystem of the US and India. Right. Then apart from this, friends, tell me recently, Aina dashboard. We did this yesterday, Aina dashboard. This is an initiative or Aina dashboard for cities. This is an initiative, a portal that was launched by which ministry? It was launched by Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. Then which state has launched food security campaign? Food security campaign. And this was to achieve zero hunger. Right? This was launched by which state? It was launched by Meghalaya. Correct? That is food security campaign to achieve zero hunger. Then where will be the 10th edition of the Asian Defense Ministers meeting will be held. So the 10th Asian Defense Ministers meeting is going to be held in Jakarta, Indonesia. Next. Next is Uzbekistan's Samarkand Institute of Economies and Services and Delhi University has established an MOU to enhance academic alliance. I repeat, it is Samarkand Institute of Economies and Services that is in Uzbekistan and Delhi University that is in Delhi that is in India. They recently signed this MOU to create opportunities for students, faculty and researchers from Samarkand and Delhi. That means they can exchange these students faculties can do research upon various uh, field right and this partnership will be endorsed by both the institutions that is Samarkand Institute of Economies and Services and Delhi University and the aim is to facilitate valuable experiences for both students and faculty contributing significantly to global education and research. With this dynamic partnership the two educational institutions are aspiring to initiate a transformative student exchange program also. Right. There will be collaboration in various educational projects. Crack faculties will also be uh, exchanged between these two institutes and this will set up a atmosphere of research, education, research and development also. Correct. Then next tell me what is the rank of India in employee well-being? In employee well-being index what is the rank of india india is at second position turkey was on first position and japan was on the lowest rank in this employee well-being index right then next tell me name the world's first robot ceo a robot has been recently appointed or we can say uh, it is an artificial intelligent robot right AI robot that has been recently appointed as the world's first CEO name it Micah right Micah is the name of the AI robot that was appointed as the world's first robot CEO then which country recently got a new island recently got a new island because of the undersea volcanic eruption this was in Japan 
right japan recently got a new island after an undersea volcano eruption next clean energy overtakes fossil fuels in global job market as per iea wee 2023 report first of all remember what is this i e a w e e report so this is your international energy agency correct and they have recently uh, they have recently released the second edition of the world energy employment report correct so international energy agency released the second edition of the world energy employment report stating that clean energy jobs have surpassed the fossil fuel jobs i repeat clean energy or the jobs in the clean energy sector has surpassed or they are more now as compared to the jobs available in the fossil fuel market correct and this is for the first time that has happened in 2022 at the global level so this second edition of this report that is of the world energy employment report released by international energy agency this is stating that the jobs that are in the renewable energy sector or clean clean energy sector are now more as compared to the jobs that were available in the fossil fuel sector then remember in clean energy sector a total of 4.7 million jobs globally were added that was between 2019 to 2022 correct next if we talk about iea international energy agency who is the executive director here dr pati birol headquarters in paris france and it was established in 1974 next next is banking and finance recently federal bank has introduced upi lite for small value digital payment this upi lite is a simplified version of upi only that will allow users to make digital payments even without entering a upi pin correct then if we talk about this upi facility upi lite per transaction limit here is 500 rupees earlier it was 200 rupees but now then it was increased to 500 rupees then the maximum usage per day is 4000 rupees and the maximum balance the upi lite account can hold is of 2000 rupees this upi lite functionality was introduced by rbi in september 2022 and it is an on device wallet that features integrated into existing upi mobile application correct directly remember moving on which not state which organization became the second unicorn of 2023 right here it is asking second unicorn but you also tell me which was the first unicorn of india of 2023 it is zapto right zapto zapto became the first unicorn of india 2023 and zapto what is it zapto is a delivery company right food delivery company correct now it is asking which became the second unicorn of india in 2022 so it will be incred holdings right incred holdings limited the parent company of the fintech startup incred financial services became the second indian unicorn or second indian startup to become a unicorn that was valued at 1 billion dollar right incred became a unicorn after raising 500 crore after raising 500 crore in the latest round of series d of equity funding the equity round has gathered interest from various investors including a global private equity fund corporate treasuries family offices ultra high net worth individuals and so on right mark this and zapto became the first unicorn in 2023 and now it is incred holdings private limited that became the second unicorn of india in 2023 right next next is inclusiveness index in this inclusiveness index what is the rank of india india is at 117th position in this inclusiveness index out of 129 countries who secured the top position first position here it is new zealand right then 12 gst seva kendras were launched at wapi gujarat who launched them it was launched by nirmala sitaraman ma'am 12 gst seva kendras and where in wapi gujarat then ubs they have raised the india's gdp forecast to 
6.3% for the fiscal year 24. And Moody, Moody retained their India's GDP growth rate to 6.7% for this year, that is 2023. Right? Next, next is in this bank, in this in bank, Sujlon Energy and nine other firms were added to MSCI India index. Mark this important, right? Recently, here you can see 50, uh, nine firms in total were recently added to the MSCI index. MSCI stands for Morgan Stanley Capital International Index. And there were nine Indian stocks that were added to it. Here you can see in the Sin Bank, Suzron Energy 197, that is your PTM, Persistent Systems, EPL Apollo, Polycab, Macro Tech Developers, Tata Motors and Tata Communication. They were included in this. And following this above addition of these nine indexes, 46 stocks will be added to this index while 69 stocks will make an exit from this index. Here you can see 46 stocks will be added to this index while 69 stocks will make an exit from this index and no Indian stocks were excluded from this particular index but 9 were added here. Right? Post rebalance, India's stock count will rise to 131 and India's weights are set to move close to 16.3 compared to the current 15.9. Then the important thing that you need to remember here is that the maximum share of inflows will lead in the Sin Bank at 290 million followed by Suslon at 264 million and Persistent System at 254 million dollar. Then inclusion of these indexes into this MSCI will bring up to 1.5 billion dollar in passive inflows to India. Right? So these are the nine shares you can say that were added to the MSCI index. Next. Next is awards and recognition. 15th edition of Fiki Healthcare Excellence Award 2023 was recently held. Where they were held? They were held in New Delhi. Right? This award, that is the Fiki Healthcare Excellence Award, this is given to recognize the organization and individuals for their outstanding contribution to the Indian healthcare sector. Right? Fiki Healthcare Excellence Award. This award is given on five different categories to recognize the excellence in healthcare sector right and here you can see this Fiki award right this award the general award is given in five categories that is excellence in patient service delivery in patient safety care in community engagement digital transformation initiative of the year and training and skill development initiative of the year here Fiki also gives jury based special awards to recognize the contribution of individuals in the healthcare sector then if we talk about Fiki who is the president? Subrakant Pandaji, headquarters is in New Delhi. It was established in 1927. Right? The next thing, remember, who has been appointed as the new chairman and managing director of Konkan Railway? Of Konkan Railway, he will be Santosh Kumar Jha. Right? Then, who has been appointed as the chief executive officer and managing director of Tata Power Renewable Energy Limited? Dipesh Nanda who has recently been appointed as the UPI safety ambassador. He will be Pankaj Tripathi and he was appointed by NPCI. Next, next is IOC Awards Olympic Cup 2023 to Taekwondo Humanitarian Foundation. I repeat, IOC, that is International Olympic Committee, awarded the 2023 Olympic Cup to Taekwondo Humanitarian Foundation in the recognition of its long-term commitment to empowering refugee athletes and refugee worldwide through Taekwondo. Right? Thomas Beck, who is the president of IOC, presented this Olympic Cup to the World Taekwondo President Chungwon Cho in a ceremony at the Olympic Museum that was held in Lausanne, Switzerland. Right? Mark this. Then, this Taekwondo Humanitarian Foundation, this THF was founded by World Taekwondo President Chungwon Cho at the UN headquarters in New York in 2015 and this THF aims to empower the refugees worldwide through Taekwondo and helping them to improve their quality of life, develop their life skills, learn Olympic values and pursue their dreams. Correct? Then next remember THF, the partner of the IOC Refugee Olympic team. World Taekwondo has been a partner of this IOC Refugee Olympic team since the Olympic Games 2016 as we know that it was founded in 2015. Then from following Olympic Games that were held in Rio 2016, they became a part of it. Correct? Then if we talk about IOC, who is the president we just saw? Thomas Beck. Headquarter is in Lausanne, Switzerland and it was established in 1894. 
then next here is taekwondo statue or uh, statue unveiled in olympic museum so taekwondo statue was unveiled in the olympic museum in lausanne switzerland only where their headquarters is there and world taekwondo is the international federation governing the sport of taekwondo and that was established in 1973 correct and here you can see thomas beck headquarter is in lausanne switzerland and it was established in 1874 next comes your environment that is the association of asia pacific airlines they have passed a resolution to adopt a collective target of 5% sustainable aviation fuel use by 2030 among the 14 member airlines i repeat association of asia pacific airline they passed a resolution to adopt a collective target of 5% sustainable aviation use by 2030 and they will be among their 14 member airlines this resolution made in its 69th assembly of presidents of the association of asia pacific airline which was held in singapore this is important location the aim is to reduce the aviation industry's carbon footprint as saf that is your sustainable aviation fuel can reduce the greenhouse gas emissions up to 80% compared to the fossil based jet fuels correct and the target here is 20 30 correct and this was the 67th assembly of the president this was held in singapore and they aim to adopt a collective target of 5% sustainable aviation fuel by 2030 among the 14 member airlines next is important is national newborn week we observe this from 15 to 21st of november and it is to create awareness about the newborn care importance for child survival and development correct then there is a theme that is remember this theme for the national newborn week that is safety quality and nurturing care birth right of every newborn i repeat safety quality and nurturing care birth right of every newborn this is a theme for the national newborn week correct and this is observed from 15 to 21st of november next next is international day for tolerance observed on 16th of november it is observed across the globe on 16th of november to promote and raise awareness of tolerance respect and understanding among all the diverse cultures and communities across the globe then this day was first observed in 1997 next is your national press day this day is observed on 16th of november to commemorate the day on which press council of india started their function to ensure the press maintains high standards and is not fettered by any form of influence or threat correct and this pci started their function as the moral watchdog correct when it was on 16th of november right in 1966 then remember there is a theme for this national press day that is media in the era of artificial intelligence moving on next is your world philosophy day world philosophy day is observed on 16th of november correct it is unesco observed by unesco that is world philosophy day and it is observed across the globe on the third thursday of november important is this is observed on the third thursday of november and this year in 2023 it was 16th of november correct so friends these were your important current affairs for the day now let's go for a quick one liner revision pm modi visited to jharkhand it was a two day visited and he addressed the celebration of janjatiya gaurav divas then dharmendra pradhan co-chaired the first australian india education and skill council meet that was held at iit gujarat next first in the sex investors meet held in delhi and gurukul initiative was launched as well as an indus x educational series was launched that is on gurukul correct then uzbekistan's samarkand institute of economics and services and delhi university they signed this mou to enhance academic excellence between two then clean energy overtakes the jobs in the fossil as compared to that of fossil fuel right a report was released by iea that is world energy report this report suggested that the job in the clean energy sector is more as compared to the fossil fuel jobs now then federal bank introduced a upi light feature for small value digital payments that is federal bank was has launched this then incred holdings became the second unicorn of india and zepto was the first unicorn of india in 2023 next Next is in the Sin Bank and Suzlon Energy among the nine firms added to the MSCI India Index. Fifteenth edition of Fiki Healthcare Excellence Award was presented. IOC awarded Olympic Cup to Taekwondo Humanitarian Foundation and AAPA aims for five percent sustainable aviation fuel usage by twenty thirty. 
नेशनल न्यू बॉर्न वीक ऑब्जर्व फ्रॉम फिफ्टीन टू ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट ऑफ नवंबर इंटरनेशनल डे फॉर टॉलरेंस ऑन सिक्सटीन ऑफ नवंबर नेशनल प्रेस डे ऑन सिक्सटीन ऑफ नवंबर एंड वर्ल्ड फिलोसफी डे ऑन सिक्सटीन ऑफ नवंबर सो दीज आर योर इंपॉर्टेंट करंट अफेयर्स फॉर द डे फ्रेंड्स नाउ लेट्स मूव टू सम रिविजन करंट अफेयर्स दैट विल बी बेनिफिशियल फॉर योर लर्निंग नेक्स्ट इज एन ओपन डाटा प्लेटफॉर्म टू मेक साइंटिफिक डाटा मोर एसेसिबल वॉज लॉन्च बाय विच ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इट इज आई ए ई ए दैट इज इंटरनेशनल एटॉमिक एनर्जी एजेंसी इंटरनेशनल अटोमिक एनर्जी एजेंसी राइट आई ए ई ए दे हैव रिसेंटली लॉन्च एन ओपन डाटा प्लेटफॉर्म दैट वॉज नेम्ड आई ई आई ए ई ए डाटा प्लेटफॉर्म आई रिपीट आई ए ई ए डाटा प्लेटफॉर्म This is the name of the platform that was recently launched by IAEA, and it is to streamline the scientific data for decision makers, so that the experts, the people who are working towards it, the analysts who are uh, analyzing the data, can be benefited. Correct. So this was launched by IAEA. If we look at here, you can see IAEA. It stands for International Atomic Energy Agency. They launched this platform, and it is to provide. data accessibility for decision makers that is for analysis to the experts and the general public this will organize standardize the iaea data into a single repository enhancing the transparency and knowledge correct this platform will work in three main domains that is nuclear safety and security nuclear technology and applications and safeguarding and verification of those platforms then this platform will include tools like filtering tags and an activity panel for tracking the data changes over time correct then if we talk about iaea who is the director general here rafael mariano grossi headquarters is in vienna austria and it was set up in 1957 correct the next thing if i ask you tell me which country hosted or where was the or which country hosted the world's largest textile event it is our india name of the event bharat tex and it is the world's largest textile event right that is bharat tex and it was from 26 to 29th uh, it will be held in 20 uh, 2024 that is from 2020 uh, 26 to 29th of february in 2024 right next then remember india will be investing 143 lakh crore rupees by 2030 in the infrastructure sector right that is to develop the infrastructure next related to sports 37th national games held in goa and maharashtra has topped the medal tally with 228 medals so coming back here you can see which is the state that has topped the medal tally in the national games that was held in goa it will be your maharashtra right it is the maharashtra if we talk about this 228 medals in this 80 were gold 69 silver 79 bronze this was the 37th edition of the national games that were being held in goa correct important and remember apart from this here maharashtra has won the raja bhalindra singh trophy for the overall championship in the national games and it is also for the first time that maharashtra has topped the medal tally correct then here you can see if we look at the medal tally maharashtra was on the top place then service sports control board on second spot third was haryana fourth madhya pradesh and fifth kerala right next here only remember best male athlete he will be shrihari nataraj he is from karnataka and he won a total of 10 medals out of which eight gold one silver and one bronze and here shrihari nataraj he is related to which sport he is related to Female, best male. Then similarly, best female. Who is the best female here? She is a gymnast. That is Sanyukta Prasen Kali. Sanyukta Prasen Kali. She is from Maharashtra. She is a gymnast, and she won a total of five medals: four gold and one silver. Moving on to obituary. Next is the founder and chairman of Sahara Group recently passed away. That is Subrata Roy, as you can see him in the picture. 
right he passed away at the age of 75 years of age he was suffering from disease right and he was born in mumbai maharashtra in 1948 and he recently passed away correct next and we know sahara was a very big company but due to some circumstances that company did not work well and even money of various investors was found here or we can say was lost here in sahara correct next next is who was awarded with the first edition of the lifetime disturbing the peace award i repeat who was awarded with the first ever or the first edition the first edition the first ever edition of the or we can say this is as the inaugural edition also of lifetime disturbing the peace award so he will be indian born british american author salman rushed correct he was awarded with the first ever edition of the lifetime disturbing the peace award this was presented in manhattan new york usa correct and if we talk about salman rushed in 2008 he was knighted by queen elizabeth ii for the service to literature correct so right option here becomes salman rushit here you can see indian born british american author salman rushit received the first ever lifetime disturbing the peace award next next remember as you can see here in the picture she is serena williams she was related or she is related to which sport table tennis Correct or not table tennis she is related to lawn tennis that is your only tennis. Correct remember remember Asian tennis player Serena Williams has received the CFDA fashion icon award. What is this CFDA that is Council of Fashion Designers of America's icon award. Correct CFDA fashion award in 2023 and with this she became the first athlete. First athlete to receive this CFDA award important take a note of it she received this award from Indian for from American socialite that is Kim Kardashian she is also very famous correct she was the recipient of 2022 CFDA fashion icon award and this year 2023 CFDA award was presented to Serena Williams presented by Kim Kardashian correct and remember this award is considered as fashion industries equivalent of Oscars Correct, and she became first athlete to be awarded with the CFDA award. She's also four Olympic medal winner, three in women's double and one in single. Next, DOT. What is DOT? DOT is your Department of Telecommunication. They have granted Jio and OneWeb with licenses for the satellite internet services in India. I repeat, Department of Telecommunications under the Ministry of Communication has granted the request licenses to Geo Satellite Communication Limited and Bharti Enterprise owned Utset OneWeb. And remember this OneSet uh, OneWeb, this is a company of United Kingdom. Correct. So Utilset OneWeb and Geo Satellite or Geo Communication they were granted licenses by Department of Communication so that they can work and provide internet using the satellite technology and if you remember OneWeb what is OneWeb doing OneWeb then Starlink all they are making is a constellation around the earth so that they can provide internet using satellite correct next now there is a license name for the same what is the name of that license it is GMPCS that is global mobile personal communication by satellite license correct this license authorizes to provide mobile communication services using the satellite right using satellite then there is isp license that is internet service provider correct this is a very small aperture terminal license that was provided to oneweb and geo correct this is important gm pcs this is a license for satellite internet connection next is your homework section first Silkiara Tunnel, which was seen in news, is located in which state? Next, as per the recent UN report, which region was ranked as the world's worst region for water scarcity? And third, Transporter 9 mission is associated with which country and what is this mission all about? So these are your three homework questions, friends. I want to see maximum participation from all the students watching this video. 
and if you find the session interesting all you have to do is like the video and comment below and let us know what are your views for the same doing this will motivate me to make better content for you in the long run so that's all for the day thank you and have a nice day that's all for the day friends i hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the youtube channel as well as apart from youtube channel you can go and follow us at affairs cloud telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is 7677333862 apart from this friends you can follow us on the facebook as well as on instagram handle that is affairs cloud underscore official in the end friends if you use a code that is vikas10 you will be getting an additional extra 10% discount by using this code vikas10 also if you have any problem regarding the course purchase any problem regarding to our application you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862 and if you want to mail us you can also mail us on support@affairscloud.com and i assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue